Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the new legendary armor. Is it good, is it bad, or is it a mix of both? Let's find out. So the last update released a couple days ago. With the last update, we finally have the very first legendary gear. We got the Invictus set and we got the Basilisk set. In the first preview on their Mad Finger stream, I thought the Invictus set didn't look that good, but it end up, it's my favorite one right now. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I thought it was a bit bulky, but it's not bad at all. So let's look at the perks because you know, guys, gear is all about perks. What will make a good item is all in the perks. So since the very first week of release, we pretty much agreed that when you look for body armor, you're looking for health percentage stats, right? The highest health percentage stat usually is the best piece of armor. And the best I've seen before the update was 24%. I accidentally sold mine. So I went back farming and finally found a 22% health. So that's the one I'm using right now. But now I got uh, two body pieces on Invictus and Basilisk. So let's look at the stats on the perks. This one is Invictus. It's got 6% health on the perks, 3% faster auto heal activation, then 11% health and more auto heal activation. So in total, this thing here got 17% extra health percentage. The other two perks are faster auto heal activation for a total of 7%. So if you compare to the chest that I'm wearing right now, it's got 22% health and 6% auto heal. On my past body armor, the one that I lost, it has 24%, but it only had 1% auto heal stat. And that was very, very hard. I mean, when you get low, it seems like it takes forever to activate. So this thing right here is a bit faster. And the legendary armor has got that. It's got faster auto heal activation. So it means you start healing faster. However, 17% health total, it's a bit low in my opinion, especially for a legendary piece. I would have hoped we had a high health percentage, at least something that can compete with the actual best epic body armor. So at least 22 or 22 and up because some of the old epic had 23 and 24 very often in the shop. So 17% health is a bit low in my opinion. And faster auto heal at 7%. I mean, it's not big because this one right here's got 6, right? So the legendary piece here got 1% more auto heal uh, activation. But you lose 5% total health percentage. So I don't know, guys. It doesn't look really legendary to me. And the second one here is the worst of the, the two sets. It only has 7% health percentage. And the rest is all auto heal stats. So it's got another, you don't see because of my cam, but it's also two and five. So it's got another 7% auto heal activation, but it's got 3% auto heal power. So it's gonna heal more or faster and it's gonna start activating at 7% faster. So again, Basilisk, in my opinion, is worse than Invictus. So as far as body armor, not so legendary, I think. Let's look at the shoulders now. Before the update, you were looking for crit or loot percentage on the shoulders. The highest crit was 15%. You had purple shoulders with 15% crit. You have rare shoulders with double crit perks for a total of 15% also. If you're not wearing crit shoulders, you're definitely wearing loot percentage shoulders. The highest loot percentage before the update was 9%. After the fix, it was 10%. And this one right here, the Invictus set, triple loot perk for a total of 11 3 2 and 6 11 percent loot so it's one percent better than the best epic shoulders right now available in the game now is loot percentage really gonna help finding legendaries it was not confirmed by mad finger games but with all the info i had on my previous video it appears that it will affect the drop rates so if you're farming gear we believe that loot percentage is gonna help you will not see a difference but if you play multiple hours a day, every day, for months, in the long run, it will make a difference. Now let's go back to the crit shoulders because this one right here is the best crit shoulder you can find in the game right now. It used to be 15% the highest crit. Check it out. 
Oh, you don't see it because of my cam, but it's 12 and 8, guys. 20% crit on the Basilisk shoulders. So you want to look for that one, guys. It drops in Hive Mind, by the way. The two shoulders I've shown you today and the two uh, body armors, they all drop in Hive Mind, all right? So chest, not so good, but the shoulders, two good pair of shoulders. You want that in your collection. Let's look at the boots now. Shout out to Yatoku on the Discord for sharing the screenshots. We will see both uh, set Basilisk boots and Invictus boots. So Basilisk first. But you know what I like in boot? Usually I look for crit damage. And second, I used to like explosion resistance and then knockdown. But I guess it's going to depend on the meta. If you play a lot of uh, PvP and there's a lot of uh, Sparta kick around... Maybe you want some knockdown resistance. But if you play a lot of arena and, and stuff like that, or if there's a lot of grenades and rocket launchers in your PvP games, you want explosion resistance more, right? But I've always been a fan of crit damage because I play more PvE. So Basilisk, no crit damage. It's got 9% uh, explosion resistance and 32% knockdown. The Invictus set, very similar. 0% crit. It's got 2% more explosion and 2% less knockdown. So it's pretty much the same freaking boots, okay? 3% cooldown, 3% cooldown, 9 or 11% explosion resistance, and 30 or 32% on the knockdown. So you're trading 2% explosion for 2% knockdown, whatever you like, but none of them got crit. I don't know, it's very personal, but again, legendary boots, not so sure, guys. So now we're left with legs and gloves. I only had this screenshot for legs. It's the Basilisk. Again, on gloves and legs, I usually have crit damage on everything. Here, what you have on these legs is double melee resistant perks, support ammo cap, and increased SMG clips. So if you don't play SMGs, I don't know, guys. Support ammo, okay, 10%. If you play rocket launcher or, or sniper... I, I don't know guys about these legs for real, uh, not a big fan, I uh, don't like what I'm seeing right now and I haven't seen the other set. We finished this thing with the gloves, the Basilic Legendary Gloves got uh, pickup radius, melee resistance, damage to elites and another melee resistance perk. So you got two melee resistance. Last one, the Invictus Gloves, they got pickup radius again, melee resistance, assault rifle accuracy and damage to elite so they are very similar none of the gloves got crit damage so i'm not impressed i got crit damage on my caterpillar gloves it's like 12 or 13 percent so you can find better stats on epic gloves right now so here's my review so far the chest piece not so good uh the shoulders very very nice i will use them for sure the boots you can find similar stats on epic gear but you'll have crit damage on top i mean Explosion resistance, knockdown resistance, it's on every boots pretty much, but you get crit. Uh, the legs, not impressed right now, and the gloves, you can also find better stats, I think, on the uh, epic gear. Overall, I kind of like the looks of the new legendary armor. Uh, they have very unique looks. I'm a bit disappointed that we cannot paint them. If you look in the shop and you select paint, you will see them in different colors and they actually look very nice, but you cannot paint them yourself at the moment. I really hope Mad Finger Games will change that. If you cannot paint your legendary armor, everyone will look the same. However, since it's not the best gear right now, I mean, maybe people will not wear it, but the shoulders are very nice. I just wish we could paint it. So that was it for today. It's not a complete review, but it's a first look. It's what I think right now about the new legendary gear. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications and watch my other videos. I'll be back soon. Take care, guys. Now we know we can just shoot the head from the start, it's just it's not the way to do it and it's bugged. Now we got the right message and it's not just the loot. See, now oh, we yeah, get the extraction and now stuff, good, yeah. but now we gotta get to now the loot. So we got a time and we got good. extraction. Oh, I got a leggy. Oh, me too, I got the plasma blaster. Damn it. Really? Oh, I got, yeah. I got the chest, it's pretty gay though. You sons of bitches. I got nothing.
Yeah, I got Plasma right. Blaster. And it's 250. Oh, wait, I got a chest piece. Yeah, I got the legendary Basilisk body. Nice. Yeah, that's what I got too. It's bad though. Yeah, it's really bad.